Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Now here's a look at today's top stories. I'm Mike Brookbank. The Rice Branch of the Cleveland Public Library is going to get a special visitor today. Both CPL and the Legal Aid Society of Cleveland will receive a $75,000 grant to help close the digital divide. The library plans to use the money to create video conference rooms. But at 10 this morning, the Rice Branch hosts an NFL Legends story time and a gaming activity with kids to celebrate. Don't forget the draft concert series continues tonight. Local group the Sunrise Jones hits the stage as the house band, followed by the Black Pumas. And Cleveland's own Machine Gun Kelly takes the stage Saturday to close out the draft. His performance is set for 6.30 after that last pick. Vice President Kamala Harris is going to be at the University of Cincinnati today. Senator Sherrod Brown says he's going to be in attendance for a roundtable discussion about the president's infrastructure plan. It's going to be from noon to one today in the 1819 Innovation Hub. Both President Joe Biden and VP Harris hit the road after his joint address to Congress to celebrate his first 100 days in office, as well as sell his ambitious education and economic agenda. In your COVID-19 headlines this morning, Ohio's case rate continues to fall. It's now about 155 cases per 100,000 residents. Now that's down about 30 cases from the prior two weeks for the state's COVID health restrictions to be wiped out. However, that number has to drop to 50 cases per 100,000 residents. All right, a check of your forecast now with meteorologist Katie McGraw. Yesterday was such a super soaker of a day for round one of the draft. It was very dreary, and I think today we start to see some subtle improvements. Some of the negatives, it's going to stay on the chilly side. We're about 10 degrees below average with highs only into the middle 50s, and we'll also have some gusty winds during the afternoon. There's a potential for a stray shower. That's most likely late morning to early afternoon. So by the time we get to 6 o'clock through about midnight, it does look dry, and we'll be seeing clearing skies to the point where we will have the potential for a freeze and frost in some of our southern communities away from the lake shore. So this includes areas like Ashland County, Richland, Wayne County, all the way over to Youngstown because of how chilly the temperatures will be. And after a cold start to the morning on Saturday, we'll increase those high temperatures into a, about the mid 60s and it climbs even more on Sunday. Another stray shower chance at that point. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.